you plan to sell, trade in, or hand down your Mac to a family member, you're most likely going to want to do some cleanup first, especially if you're planning to sell or trade it in. One way to do that is to use the recovery partition, or what's called internet recovery. You can boot up your Mac anytime to get to those partitions by holding down Command R on startup for the local recovery disk, which just means it's installed on the hard drive already. Or use Option Command R to launch internet recovery, which uses Apple servers to run the recovery software. Using this method will let you completely erase a hard drive and then install a fresh version of OS X. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a slightly different method that can avoid having to completely erase the disk and reinstall the OS. So if I were prepping this computer to sell, or maybe give to a family member, the first thing I want to do is make sure all my data is going to be removed. So to start, I'm going to want to sign out of iCloud, and also sign out of or remove any other internet accounts, such as Gmail, Twitter, or Facebook. This will need to be done on each user account on the Mac. Next, you'll want to remove any applications that you purchased from the Mac App Store or elsewhere. You don't need to remove apps that you've downloaded for free, such as Firefox, Dropbox, or Skype. I would highly recommend using an app like CleanMyMac to safely and completely remove these apps. Just dragging apps to the trash won't fully remove all the files that they've installed on the Mac. Utilizing CleanMyMac's uninstaller function does a great job of removing the apps and all their related files. With that completed, I'm now going to create a new user with administrator privileges. I'm going to utilize this account to delete all the other user accounts on the Mac. I'll enter the name as admin, and for this account I just need a simple password. So I like to use the actual word, password. Now I could log into that admin account and remove all the other user accounts on this Mac. I can't do that in this video, but to remove an account, just make sure you're logged in with an administrator account. Select the account you want to remove and click the minus button here. In the pane that slides down, choose to delete the home folder. To be extra sure the files deleted can never be recovered, erase the folder securely. If you're selling or giving the Mac to a stranger, this is probably the best option. It can take a long time, though. When I click the Delete User button for this account, the entire Michelle folder is going to be deleted. So all the documents, music, and photos in this user account will be gone. So before doing this, confirm that either all these files have been safely moved to another Mac or are backed up elsewhere. Once all the other user accounts are removed, only the new admin account will remain. The new owner of the Mac can then log into that account and create their own user account from there. This is going to retain any of the apps that you didn't remove with CleanMyMac. I'm often asked where the best place to sell a Mac or other Apple device like an iPad or iPhone is. There are a lot of options. The best option is usually sell to a friend or an acquaintance. Of course, there's also eBay or local buy and sell sites like Craigslist. Both can work, but with eBay you pay a hefty amount in fees, and with Craigslist you're dealing face-to-face -face with people you don't know and cash exchanges. Another option is an online service like Gazelle, which will purchase your Mac, iPhone, or iPad for cash. You might get a little less money going through a website like this, but the ease of the transaction can't be beat. Just enter the serial number or model information of your device, along with the general condition, and they're going to give you a price estimate for it. On a Mac, the serial number can be found under the Apple menu and about this Mac. Accept the offer, and they're going to send you packaging for it, and once they receive and confirm the condition, you're going to get paid. I've used Gazelle a few times for both Macs and iPhones, and the process has gone smoothly every time. 
Of course, since Gazelle is taking in all these used devices, they also have some pretty good prices on refurbished iPhones, iPads, and Macs. If you're someone that doesn't require the latest and greatest iPhone, buying an older model from Gazelle can be a pretty good bargain. So that's a quick look at the process of cleaning up and preparing a Mac to sell, trade, or give away. If you have any old Macs or other Apple devices laying around unused, check out what they're worth on Gazelle, and you might end up with some extra spending money.